this next story here includes one of the biggest rappers from the 2000s. Because it appears uh, the people who help him get on seem like he betrayed him, and he's also taking shots at him. This rapper right here is Nelly. And I don't know if you guys were, you know, some of y'all might not be around. Some of the younger people may not remember. But the people my age and older remember. When Country Grammar dropped, there was no way of escaping Nelly. That album went diamond, meaning it did extraordinary things musically. So let's get right into this video right here. At first, their style and subject matter was as hardcore as the lives they were living. We were kind of like quote unquote rapping for the hood, which was like we were straight gangster. Every rhyme I wrote, somebody got murdered. Somebody was getting thrown in the trunk. I was robbing somebody. I'm still in the gangbang mode. I'm still in the hustle mode. So these are my rhymes. But in 93, they hooked up with a local MC named Ali who had a different take on how to conquer the rap game. I'm like, yo, I'm on a different type of music. I'm on a whole different way of life. Don't talk about killing. Don't talk about shooting. And he kind of brought that, like, yo, we should try to do it different. You know, and at first we looking at him like, different? What you talking about? Just for the hood, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm like, just trust me, just trust me. By the time 2000 come, they're going to be ready for, like, something brand new. So, you know, we kind of flipped our script, and we went a different way about it, you know. Um, it wasn't all about the shooting my band band no more. So that everybody could feel the music, you know. I think that was the main thing he wanted us to do. It's like, yo, let everybody be a part of it. Anytime we drop around. Once we got to doing that, you know, things started to look up for us. Now everything I drop, yo, it's flat. They formed a group called the St. Lunatics. So, I mean, I don't know that documentary right there uh, to which they're talking in, but I've seen the documentary where I learned Nelly definitely had help with the pen. Ali, Murphy Lee, the, the whole St. Lunatics. The people we thought who were behind them, you know, was giving them records, giving them verses. Like, he took some people verses word for word. I actually had to go pull it up and look it up right after, and I was like, wow. Wow, Nelly, I never knew that. Like, but nobody includes Nelly in like the greatest rappers list. He done tremendous things, but nobody includes him in that list. So I mean, but wow. Uh, now Ali commented on this where he said, "Well, here's some entertainment to help you through your Monday blues." Last night, Nelly sent one of his subliminal dishes towards me and my career. The truth is. Nelly equals voice, Ali equals pen. I wrote it, he said it, and we sold 10 million records. 10 million. Diamond. Back to his post, he says, go to his page. Do you notice that he hasn't said anything about that country album? Well, I'll tell you why. 13,000 albums. Wow. That's how many copies of that album he sold. My career was writing you a career. Shaking my head. To be continued. It all the most grand illusion ever pulled. And that and it's all unraveling right now. My bad, I had to scroll down. And he's mentally suffering, trying to hide the secrets. And don't let me get ready to drop this. Wisdom off at school. Peace. And enjoy your day. Now that's crazy. Because that. Ali has been there with him. Like ride or die. He's been his, his guy. When he had beef with anybody else. Ali was it. Uh, I believe he became like the first president. For like Dirty ENT. Yeah man. Money changes people man. Success can change situations and relationships. But there's kind of. I mean from what I've seen like recently. And hearing this from someplace else, Ali played a major role in Nelly's career. Major role. Now, do you forever owe somebody for helping change your life? That's tough. That's tough. I don't know what they fell out about. But from this right here, I mean, Nelly definitely took some shots. 
because uh, the thing that sparked all of this was Nelly said it's called a career, and in it you have ups and downs. Some never have their ups themselves, so technically they didn't have a career. Ali felt offended by that because he said it was a sub. I guess that's a conversation they didn't have before, and he ended that saying they was just a part of someone else's career. So yeah, now he's definitely taking shots in this. He definitely taking shots. It sucks, man, because them two together put together history. They change rap. They definitely change rap. I I can't deny that. I hopefully they can get it together. I don't know how that's gonna happen, but you know, things happen sometimes. They definitely do. It's your boy DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.